Hi, I'm Michael Lawrence, Marketing Director here at Dahua Technology UK and Ireland, and I'm delighted to uh, welcome you today um, to our webinar to discuss the launch of Dahua Insider, our access control system, all inside, all in the web. I'm going to spend about 10, 15 minutes going through the, uh, the commercial aspects, the, um, the solution, the benefits. I'm then going to hand over to Chris, who's going to give more of a hands-on um, access to the, to the product. So you can see the interface, you can see how it works, you can see how easy it all is. So let's, let's crack on. Um, if you do have any questions during the webinar, please send us a chat. Um, we're keen to engage you throughout the webinar. Um, if you think of any questions after, then please just um, send them to us on sales.uk at dahuatech.com. We'd be delighted to hear from you. Thank you. So as Dahua, as you expect, we have an incredible portfolio of access control uh, products, whether it's our AI-based facial recognition, whether it's our standalone um, access control devices, time and attendance, turnstiles, modules, um, and accessories. Let's zoom in on the areas of our access control. So we have our standalone um, units, whether they are fingerprint, IC card, RFID, or facial, facial recognition. We have our controllers, two-door, four-door, um, standalone or, or boxed. And then we have our readers, our keypad, our IC card, um, our fingerprint, our weatherproof um, solutions, vandal-proof solutions, etc. So we have a broad portfolio of access control uh, products um, available to you today. Now, what are some of the challenges that, um, that we've heard from installers um, installing ours and other um, products um, in the marketplace? Well, typically one, it's a complex um, installation. It requires good knowledge of the system and installation team on site. So configuring prior um, and then engineer going to site and implementing what's been configured correctly in the first place and then, and then testing. Um, two, multiple systems. So typically you require additional management systems to control um, access requirements adding to complexity. And three, on-site management. I hear this a lot. Um, the management and system changes are required on site. So yeah, you go to site, you install, you configure, you set up, you leave the site. Um, any changes required after require you to revisit um, the site or require the end user to do some work on site. And that can become um, a little bit complicated and make things a little bit more difficult than they might need to be. So I'm delighted to introduce our web-based access controller that addresses many, if not all, of those challenges. It's the ASC 3202B web-based access controller that we call Dahua Insider. It's a trade price of £153 and it's an incredibly compelling um, device. I've actually got one just, just here. As you, can, as you can see, so reasonably small form factor, about 183 um, uh, millimetres um, square. Fantastic product. And Chris will be unboxing it for you and showing you how to set up and configure, configure this device. So let's look at each of the things in turn that it brings to the party. So one, simplified installation. So it delivers a web-based application. So the main controller has access control management platform inbuilt. So it's a web-centric operation. It eliminates the need for an additional platform. You buy the box, you install the box, that's, that's, all, that's all you need. It delivers user management, access control device management, configuration, and global alarm linkage and it can manage up to 40 doors and 1,000 units within that device. Um, so incredibly, incredibly capable. And it can be deployed in five easy steps. One, initialize the device. Two, add devices. Three, add the users. Four, add the time templates. And five, assign access permissions. So we're going to go into a bit more detail with Chris later, but also I'm going to share in a few slides about how you might manage those um, 40 doors and those 1,000 thousand users. So within the box and within the web interface, it delivers a bespoke hardware wiring tool. And this is a great 
innovation. So you can see here an image inside the box. You can also see an image that is presented on the web interface. When you configure the device, it actually creates a bespoke installation diagram within the web interface that can then be shared as an image or um, shared on a print-off for the engineer installer who goes on site um, to make things just so much easier, so much simpler. So the design that you create off-site is easily replicated and implemented on-site. The second area of simplified installation is power over Ethernet. The product delivers power over Internet out of the box. You connect it to a PoE switch. Um, it'll enable the powering of locks and readers, um, and therefore that reduces your cabling, cabling costs. It also delivers management system choice so it can work standalone using our web access controller as the access control platform through the web interface um, that we deliver through that through that unit but you can also integrate it within a management platform if it's part of a wider um, deployment a wider solution then you can integrate it with for example our dss pro service enabling credible flexibility and functionality for your customers you can also deliver remote control via DMSS, the DAHWA mobile um, service. So delivering the, with the main controller using PAAS through the public network to DMMS, it enables um, remote door opening up to a maximum of 40 doors. It can deliver real-time event reports um, and it'll also enable the querying of unlock, unlock records. So all within the app. With the web sending operation, it also enables real-time monitoring. So when you've got real-time monitoring as part of the setup, you can create your door organization. So you can have single or multiple doors. You can do remote control door actions. So setting always open, always closed, um, or normal operation. On, and finally, you can do event info reporting. So delivering real-time event display. And you'll see this in action with Chris um, a little bit later. So not only does it deliver um, all this, it also enables custom Wigan formats. So that means that the web access controller can work with other manufacturers' card readers. Out of the box, by default, it can support five types of Wigan formats, as you can see here, which you can set. And actually, you can set multiple formats, so they'll work um, simultaneously um, to make things even easier. And if those formats aren't what you want, then you can configure even further. So out of the box, incredibly simple. If you have third party manufacturer readers, you can integrate, integrate with those. Um, if you want to bespoke it further, then you can bespoke it further. All fantastic, straight out of the box. So in summary, what are the key benefits of the Dahua Insider Web Controller? Well, one, it delivers an incredibly efficient system. It's a web-centric operation. It eliminates the need to configure additional platforms. Two, it simplifies installation significantly. It supports power over Ethernet, enabling power to locks and readers, and it reduces installation cost. And then finally, it has a mobile operation. It enables remote access monitoring and control, either via the mobile application, but also through the web interface, through your laptop, through your tablet, um, through the PC um, in the office. So let's look at an example um, topology. So you have your main controller um, controlling uh, one or two doors. You have your access control platform, which could be the, within the controller, or it could be your DSS. You have an enrollment reader, you have your PoE switch, um, but you can connect your main controller to a subcontroller. And you can have up to 20 devices in total. So each device controls two doors, um, and you can have 19 plus one. So one main controller, 19 subcontrollers, therefore controlling up to 40 doors. The main controller connects your access reader, your subcontrollers can contact to your kind of access readers, um, and then your main controller connects out to the public network um, to DMSS. So for installations of up to 40 doors, then it's a fantastic solution um, to meet your needs. 
So what are some of the recommended um, devices? So clearly we've talked about the DHI ASC 3202B, the Dahua Insider Web Access Controller. So the platform um, and also sub-controller mode. It's the same device, but can be set up in either, either format. So as a main controller or as a sub-controller, um, different, different modes. We then have our portfolio of access readers, whether it's an IC card, an ID card, um, and um, using kind of Wigan, um, or it could be a fingerprint um, reader, or a, an outdoor um, vandal proof type um, device. The mobile application, so DMSS, that enables you to do the remote opening of the doors, and also you t enables you to kind of query and see activity in real time. Um, the PoE switch, so the one we're showing here is a 10 port, eight um, times PoE port um, switch. And then finally, accessories. So did you expect we have this full portfolio? So whether it's the enrollment reader, whether it's a single door magnetic lock, an electronic strike lock, or an exit button, um, all available, all integrated and available for you to deploy to your customers to deliver a fantastic um, experience. So that's, that's it from, from me. Um, I'm gonna hand over to Chris um, very shortly um, to give you more of a hands-on view of the Dahua Insider Web Access Controller. He's gonna show you to set up, to configure some of the, um, the features and functionality and kind of build on some of the things that I've shared. Today, the ASC 3202B. Okay, today we are gonna be looking at the web access controller. Okay, I'm really excited about this device because one, it is so easy to configure. I have used many different access control devices with very many different brands before. However, though, this one is so easy to configure. All you use is a standard web-based browser, log into the actual device and complete your configurations. Okay, there's two modes on this product. We have main and we have sub. Now, if it's the main unit, then of course, obviously, this will be the boss of your topology solution. If it's the sub unit, then of course, it will follow lead point set by the main unit. Now, if you actually include lots of sub units, you can actually have 19 different sub units, which is the equivalent to 40 doors, and it will be able to support 1,000 users. So, an exciting feature to this device is the ability to power locks. We have three different types of locks. We've got the mag contact, we have the stripe contact, and of course we have the bolt lock. With that said, then of course we can actually power that with this device. It will be able to provide a 12 volt, 1000 milliamp supply to those types of locks. And let's not forget, this product is powered by PoE. That's simply amazing. Okay. Connectivity options for this device will consist of DMSS, the mobile app, DSS, and of course, a DSS Agile 8. Okay, so let's talk about the actual installation and of course, obviously, that massively powerful benefit of PoE. So, of course, if we install the PoE to this device and then everything is in fact actually ran to this, then of course, that will be a easier installation. We will be able to save less in the actual cabling, less in the troubleshooting. We could, of course, obviously have this one installed as the main unit on two or three switches away, we can in fact actually have the other unit installed on the sub. We don't need to in fact actually use a, like a multi-alarm alarm cable to connect one to another to another. We can do all of that with IP. So of course this device will better your installation. Okay, so we're gonna log into the web access control interface. And as you can see, this is based on the same Web5 technology that we're gonna be deploying throughout the course of the year. Now, as you can see, Insider series. So of course this is the new name that we'll be deploying for the web access controller series. All right, let's get logged in. Okay. Once you're in the actual device, then of course you can see the actual dashboard, and of course this is going to be populated over a period of time as I get to use the product. Now, this is so easy to configure. 
When you go into the device management, then of course you will be able to see your particular device. I've already got my main unit. And then of course you will see all of your online subunits. And then of course they will be available to configure from this location also. And of course that's the best part as well because we were just having a conversation a moment ago. Since it's now IP connectivity and not RS-485 and not multi-alarm cable, then that means I can actually put one main unit on the third floor, I can put one subunit on the first floor, I can then link them together via IP, and then of course integrate one whole access control solution, okay? If I go into person management, then of course this is where I'm gonna be adding all of the people to be able to access the actual devices or stroke doors. And of course, like when you click on add, you can clearly see username, authentication, how you're gonna get in, password, card, fingerprint, permission to be able to get into which doors in question. If I get rid of this, I go into the access control configuration. Then of course I can set up the actual schedules. I can set up their permission settings with what they can and cannot do and how they do it via the actual permission settings. I can also set up the door parameters in the event that one of the door was kept open. And of course it exceeded the actual opening time, meaning that it's been propped open or left open. I can go into access monitoring. I can then monitor live events of the actual controls and I can in fact actually override if needed. I can go straight to this door right now, click on open, I will hear the relay, door is open, five seconds latching time, it will go closed again. And if I keep this open, then of course I will get a full history of what's going on. If I was to add this to my DSS, I will get a complete duplicate mirror image of this page also. DSS looks exactly like this when you're utilizing access control. When I go into reporting, I have a wide range of features. I've got the actual alarm unlocking. I've got the uh, unlock records. I can then in fact actually apply filters. I can export. And then finally, if I go into device, local device configuration, then of course, it's completely feature rich. I've got access card rules, maintenance. I've got accounts, times, versions, firmware, system updates. It's completely packed full here, okay? Whenever I'm done, I can just click back on home and then of course I will be presented with these six options to be able to make any further changes again. So, so easy to be able to configure this web access controller. Okay, this concludes our video of the ASC3202B. So this product will most likely be used commonly in office, schools, warehouse and factories. Okay, as you can see, the device is incredibly feature rich. Okay, I would hand you back to Mike. So thank you very much for your time. If you do have any questions, then please share them through the chat function here. Um, or if you think of them after, mail them to sales.uk at dahuatech.com. We've also got a QR code out here where you can find out more. You can fill in the form. You can get a brochure, etc., to find out more about our fantastic products. And I look forward to seeing you on our next webinar. Thank you so much.